The Earth has an average surface temperature of 287 kelvins, a radius of 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. At what rate, at what rate does it radiate energy to space? So this is the luminosity of the Earth. Of course, now this is going to have a peak radiation in like the infrared, right? Um, but let's, let's do this, right? Uh, so the power is going to be, um, let's assume that it's a perfect black body, right? So it's going to be uh, emissivity, and we'll use one for that. Sigma area temperature to the fourth, right? So typically, if, if you don't tell you an emissivity, just use one. We'll assume that it's like this perfect black body. And then it's going to be a, a sphere, so it's going to be 4 pi r squared, right? So this ultimately becomes 1.00 times 5.67 times 10 to the um, minus 8th, and that's watts meters to the minus 2, kelvins to the minus 4. Uh, and then we're going to go times 4 pi times 6.38 times 10 to the minus, 10 to the minus 6, 10 to the 6th, sorry, <laughs> meters. This is squared. It's a really small Earth. Okay, They keep saying the, the Earth is it's a small world, right? 287 kelvins, and we're going to raise that to the fourth. Notice our units, you know, kelvins to the fourth, kelvins to the minus fourth, meters squared, meters to the minus two, right? So this, all these units are cooked up to give you watts. Okay. Watt is a unit of power. Okay, let's see, one times 5.67 times 10 to the minus eighth times four times pi times 6.38 times 10 to the sixth. We gotta square that times a whopping 287 to the fourth. So it's not nothing. I'm getting 1.9677 times 10 to the 17th. And of course, there's, there's an equilibrium here, right? If the if the sun were to heat up and we were to get more incoming radiation, right, and this this increased, then this temperature would increase, and we'd start to to lose energy at a rate equal to what we're getting from the sun. Um, so it's a stable equilibrium. It's just that we kind of want this temperature not to be too high, right? 